So this is question number five, I believe, from the Probability and Stats Week 9 quiz. Um, and we are given a hypothesis test here with the sample size of n drawn from a normal population. So we're using a z statistic. And um, we've got a known variance, a known population variance. And the hypothesis is that mu is equal to 14 is the null hypothesis. And the alternate hypothesis is that mu is greater than 14 with a significance level of 0.05. And now it says if we were if it were true that mu is equal to 15.7, what would be the power of this test? So the thing to get your head around for this one is understanding what that means, what is the power of the test. So the power of a test is always the probability of us rejecting the null hypothesis, of us rejecting the null hypothesis, given that it turns out that the null hypothesis should have been rejected. So in this case, what is the probability that we reject the null hypothesis given that mu is in fact equal to 15.7? So the first thing we need to work out is what would the conditions be in order that we reject the null hypothesis? What, what would make us reject this null hypothesis? To uh, this null hypothesis. So uh, what we need is to come up with uh, the critical value for z. So um, we've got a z value, one-sided z value, with significance value uh, 0.05 or an alpha of 0.05. So let's work out what the critical value of z is equal to. I'm just going to go look this up in the table for a second. So that comes out at uh, z is equal to 1.6449. So that is the Z score corresponding to a significance level of 0.05. So to get our critical value for um, mu at which we would reject, what we want is our value here mu, um, mu assumed, which is going to be uh, 14. So mu crit is going to be 14 plus that z score multiplied by our very our sigma, so square root 5 over square root 10, our n. Square root 5 over 10, well, square root of half. So this is going to give us 14 plus 1.6449 multiplied by root 0.5. This is going to be 15.16. Okay, so if we got an average of... Um, If, if from our mean, we, if from our sample size of 10, we got a, a score for our x bar of 15.16 or higher, then we would reject, we would reject the null hypothesis. So what is the odds, the odds, what's the probability of us getting a value of x bar of 15.16 or higher. Well, we do that the same way as we normally do with our z statistic. So the z is going to be equal to 15.16 minus 15.7 all divided by square root of 0 0.5. And that's going to give us Minus 15.7 equals divided by square root 0.5 minus 0 0.76. So if we go look up that in the tables again, what are we going to get? Minus 0 0.76. So if we come and find that, minus 0 0.76 in the Z table is going to be um, 0 0.2236 so the, so let's just get rid of all this for a second so the probability 
of that z is less than minus 0 0.76 is equal to 0 0.2236. So that's not our answer because this is the probability of if we if we draw out our little bell curve here in the z score remember we're looking for a value of mu greater than 15.16 um, and we've found we've got a critical z score here is what we've found as being the chances of getting that minus 0 0.76 and what we actually want is that value there that's the probability of us successfully rejecting this so we want um, 1 minus, uh, so that our final probability or our power is going to be equal to 1 minus 0. Point, ugh, so ugly. Let's try again. So the final power is going to be equal to 1 minus. 0 0.224 and that's going to give us oops, 1 minus 0 0.224 0 0.776 and that's our correct answer so it looks like we're on the right track